Good morning and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I am bringing you guys once again another weekly vlog. So today it is Sunday and y'all I am on a mission to get ready for church. So church starts at 9.30 and we are on a mission to get there, okay? So I did try some new mouthwash that I've been seeing going around and honestly I can see why everybody gets it. It just ain't like rubber beds. Okay. So, of course, y'all know we in the bathroom because we got to get ourselves together. So, I'm going to be washing my face. And then after I wash my face, I'm going to be moving over to my makeup. And, yes, I have a tutorial coming out for you guys on a full in-depth tutorial on what I do with my makeup. So, stay tuned for that. And, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of let you guys enjoy this. And then I will talk to y'all in literally, like, two minutes. <laughs> So here I am doing my makeup. So today we are doing a no foundation look, which means that I'm just going to be doing my brows and my lashes today. So I only really need a couple of things. Like I said, I won't go too much into detail because I do have a video coming out for you guys. Basically, I just have my brow pomade, my concealer, my powder, of course my lashes, the, whatever lip combo i'm doing today i'm doing a brown lip liner and clear gloss with a touch of glitter and then of course i have my brushes to do what i need to do so yeah i'm gonna let you guys go ahead and enjoy the rest of me doing my makeup and then i promise i'm gonna be talking to you guys in just a second <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today, as you can see by the title, we're doing a weekly vlog. Come along with me on my week again, you guys. So it is Sunday. I'm getting ready to go to church. You can call it a Sunday reset or whatever you want to call it. But I'm finally going to trademark in person. It is 9-16. I should have left a minute ago. I still got to put a shirt on. I still, okay, let me tell y'all. I still got to put a shirt on. I need to figure out what shoes I'm going to wear. So as y'all know. Yeah, I cut my hair and I still gotta do my edges and put earrings on. So I've been trying to wear clothes that still make me look girly. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. It's all gonna depend on my shoes. I'm really thinking about just going in my Crocs. Cause you guys, I have a trademark shirt. Like this is literally a trademark shirt. The only issue is, is that it's 85 outside. I know it be cold in the churches. So I ain't, that's why I was kind of like, I should just put this on. Cause it do be cold in the church. But y'all, I kind of just wanna put this shirt on. I haven't even done my hair yet. I ain't gonna lie, I do wanna leave the house at 9.30. The service starts at 9.30, so it starts in 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna put my bands on. I feel like these still give me that little girly vibe. It's just, these are dirty. These need to be clean, but I feel like they'll go with the look, so. Normally, you guys, I'm better with my time. I guess just not today, you know? No, I actually look good. My body woke me up at like 6.15, at like six o'clock. I just didn't wanna get out the bed till eight. 
Okay, I need spray bottle and my edge is done. And then we can go. I got my water. I'm gonna take my gummies. I kind of live by these. Okay, edges, perfume. It's already 9 30. Okay. So y'all know you gotta like massage your hair, but I ain't got no five minutes. So we just finna do what we can do. So this is what we're working with today. And then I just put the bands on. Let's go, guys. I got me my breakfast. It's literally a piece of freaking toast. I kid you not. It's literally just a piece of toast. I also got my Bible. I'm headed home, and then we're headed to the second church service. So my family, they haven't seen my hair. Oh yeah, y'all, I cut my hair. You know, make sure y'all go watch that video. I'm kind of excited. Thank you. It better work. Hello, bugs. I am back from church. <laughs> church is actually really, really good. Oh, everybody loves my hair. So here is what I got from the beauty supply store. We were back old school, y'all, okay? I got me virgin hair fertilizer, Jamaican black castor oil. I got the mango one, and it smells so freaking good, you guys. I got me some Sulfur 8 medicated original formula anti-dandruff hair and scalp conditioner. Of course, y'all know I had to get the wild growth hair oil, the do grow, the mega a thick one that promotes thick, strong, healthy hair. So we're gonna chit chat and eat. I'm gonna catch you guys up on my life. We got a bunch of napkins. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need those. Oh, you know, we gotta have a lot of zing sauce. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna eat it. I love me a lot of zing. Y'all know I gotta have my water on my side. These is my tenders. Go to chick tenders is just like something else. If y'all know me, I'm a salad kind of girl. I love me salad. Did y'all wanna like see what I was actually eating? I don't know if y'all actually wanted to like watch me eat or whatever because then we got the ranch. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. Every time I get down to the bottom, you know, every day enough ranch. I be sitting here like, where is my ranch at? I guess let me tell y'all about church and what we talked about and like what I got out of church on both services. And then tell y'all what the messages of each service was. If you're not shaking your salad up after you put the ranch on it, like what are you doing? And y'all, this salad actually lasted like two days. I ain't gonna lie. Service was actually really good. I thought the main pastor was gonna preach, but he didn't. It was a guest speaker. It was actually good. She talked about remembrance. I wonder if they do communion every Sunday because the church that I go to, we do communion every first Sunday. But then when I went to San Marcos, they did communion every Sunday. And then this church, I wonder if they do communion. I think they do communion every week, which I mean, it makes sense. I ain't gonna lie, I like doing communion once a month because the views raised in the Southern church, them saltine crackers. Mm. If you not back there breaking up my crackers, if you not back there pouring grape juice into the shot glasses, baby, I don't want it. Nah, I'm just playing. But honestly, that's what I grew up with. That brought back a memory. After communion on Sunday, we would literally, no, we was finna get fed after church. There would be like a few crackers left over. You gotta be the first back there because if you're not the first back there, you not getting no crackers. We would literally rush back there to the back to go and eat them crackers. A handful of crackers. It was a couple of juices left. That was fun. That's a good memory though. This week, I'm also gonna do my mom's press on nails. And that way I can kind of ease my way into showing you guys the business that I actually have. But I still have it and I really just need to bring it back. I need to get on my A game. So as soon as I can go do that, baby, we is, we is on and popping. Now this vlog, I'm gonna make it a full week. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Every single day, I'm gonna be recording. Today's Sunday, and we are gonna end it on Saturday. So this is gonna be a little long vlog, so I hope you are ready. So let's talk about service. I won't get sidetracked, I promise. So the first service, she talked about remembering. She came from a lot of scriptures, actually. I feel like if I would've known better, I probably would've wrote the scriptures down, but honestly, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't take no notes. She was talking about five different topics on like why we forget to remember God. She said success was the first one. Opposition was the second one. I remember because I had to look that word up and I was like, what does opposition mean? It's when you say your problem is bigger than God. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It was cold in there. I was dozing off. I ain't gonna lie. So I don't know what the third one was. The fourth one, I don't even know if it was the fourth one or the fifth one, but it was idol idol idolatry. That's how you say that? Idolatry. I don't. 
the idolization the idol one the idol one okay um i should know how to say that and i'm gonna figure out how to say that okay you guys that was the only one that stood out to me because i will always put things over god like i will always think that these things are bigger than god it just really had me thinking she was pretty cool she talked about how she lost her luggage she lost her luggage twice on the way to texas she came from dc the first time she just literally forgot it and the second time she grabbed a dude suitcase and i was like oh wow but yeah, that was pretty much that. And I got to catch up with the leaders that I had met there. So that was like really good. It was really good today. I was excited to see them. They was complimenting my hair and everything. I was just like, oh my God, you guys like my hair. <laughs> And then I went to my family church. It was actually good. So he talked about, now I don't remember where he came from. He came from Isaiah 55, 6 through something. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteousness their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. Oh, neither are my ways, declares the Lord. Because it's all way on this other side, I didn't even see it. But anyways, that's what he read and his topic was to seek the Lord. What stood out to me with this message was, it says, seek the Lord while he can be found. That's honestly the only thing that stood out to me. Seek the Lord while he can be found. And it's just like, you ain't got no time to waste. While he can still be found and you still have that moment and that chance to seek the Lord. Even if you just testing it out and you giving it a try. It just got me because it's like, while he can be found. That means you're not going to be able to find him at one point in time so while you have that chance to find him seek him so that was my two church services today let's make our science experiment oh my gosh if y'all are like a super og which i'm not gonna lie i don't think any of y'all are actually super OGs and you remember, remember. But I used to make these videos where I like deleted. This was the first time I deleted my videos. I've deleted videos twice. This was the first time I had deleted any videos. I would always make concoction because I love DIY and stuff. You know, unless you just actually need to go get, get the real thing done. You know what I mean? I'm gonna leave the video down below so that you guys can follow along with me and watch and see what I'm doing. I'm gonna mix it exactly how she makes it, like in the same order and everything. I kid you not oopsies okay you guys i probably messed up because this jamaican black castor oil but honestly even if this concoction actually works i would do it again and we'll get like the regular black camastrum oil <laughs> so let's see if it's gonna turn out how hers did also did clean this out it's just the empty container y'all the mind the bleach i just needed an empty container okay Now, y'all, I have never heard about this until I watched the video. And mind you, the video is from nine months ago. So it's still fairly new. If she's still using it in 2022, 2023, I'll best believe I am too. So this is the consistency of it. It's very runny, which is perfect. Let me show y'all what the contents look like. That's a lot, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, also, let me clip my nails. Let me clip my nails. Let's, let's clip my nails together, you guys. Pop them off. And I'm gonna foul and buff these out real quick. 
does not work unless you work so if you do not actually put in the effort to leave your hair alone if you're doing it with me or you're doing it like how i'm doing it so the reason that i'm putting the water on my hair so when i do run my fingers through my hair and through my scalp it does not tangle my hair and y'all it smells so good i ain't gonna lie that jamaican the black castor oil the mango one oh my god you can have a little bit of favorites, just a little bit. Honestly, if you wanted to, you can braid your hair before you do this as well. All right, y'all, I feel like that's enough. So I'm just gonna massage for a little bit. Now y'all could get y'all a massager, but me personally, I know that the oil also gets on your nails and so that's why I like to use my hands. Hi, hi. So I am editing. Y'all should have been done with this video, but I started getting on Facebook and being on my phone, which I shouldn't have did. Um, and also I'm gonna watch this new show called T Era Incognito. And it's about it says Eric returns to Cape Court to solve the mystery of his parents' disappearance. And if y'all watched Secrets of Sulphur Springs, my friend said that that's what it's like. So we about to see, we about to rate this movie. It's not a movie, it's a TV show. morning everybody so i told y'all that i'm supposed to have a client at 11 but she hasn't gotten back to me so until she gets back to me or we figure out what's gonna happen or what we finna do i'm about to clean my room up Look at this back here. We got four weeks. Y'all, this, the lot of zing sauce from Golden Chick and some bread. When you ain't got that chicken tenders, it's so good. It's 2.54 and I am done for the day. Oh, so I did clean up a little bit in, in the room. I uh, kind of organized it a little bit. I got um the, like my business stuff ready. So I'm gonna do that this week as well. Hunted Mansion. That's what I'm going to the movies to see. I don't care if I'm going to the movies by myself to go see Hunted Mansion. I'm going to see Hunted Mansion. Y'all wanna see my room so far? I'm looking at this pizza chocolate and I wanna eat it so bad. The only problem is it's gonna make my stomach hurt. I had toast this morning. I didn't really finish it. It wasn't cause I wasn't hungry. I just only needed like two bites cause I needed to take my iron pill. But I'm, a, I'm probably gonna talk to y'all tomorrow. Like I said, there ain't really nothing else going on today. I'ma finish folding my clothes. So yeah, my bye see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning y'all. I'm sorry if like my, I look raggedy cause y'all, I literally just woke up. But y'all, I'm on Amazon, and y'all know it's Prime Day or whatever. I'm on Amazon, and why is this $8.88? The original cost was $25. I'm about to get it. Now, wait a minute. Y'all, okay, I'm about to have to skip out on this Amazon day, and I'm going to prepare for next year. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out, because I don't know what I want. Hi, guys. Client done. It was actually my ambassador client. Oh, I love working with her. I just got some of my clothes from yesterday out of the washing machine so i'm gonna fold that but i'm gonna do that when i get back y'all i have not eaten i need to take an iron pill because i already know i'm about two four five six seven three seconds from passing out i'm gonna go check on my plants water them that's what i did i just went to kroger's i was gonna go to sonic but so i got me oat milk watermelon this yogurt this little pro snack hi guys i love you want to go team shopping but like i really don't need to just spend the money because I don't need it need it yet. I went to went to Kroger's and the stuff looked good, but I was just like, it ain't even that I want to eat healthy. Like I need to eat healthy. I was gonna go to Sonic and get their chicken tenders. Then I was like, am I gonna actually eat it? And some of me was like, no you're not. Don't even go go get it. That's some good watermelon.
Let me try to get past the audio on this show. Because it was, I ain't gonna lie, the show is actually pretty good. Okay, Disney. Disney turned 100 or something. Yeah. I wasn't gonna say nothing because I was just gonna show y'all when I go out there to go water my plants, but my bell peppers have started growing. I'm so excited, y'all. Also, I did put that stuff in my hair today. I'm gonna do it with you guys in the morning. I'm gonna show you what I done, what I did. It's going up when we brought them off at the school. Creepy like I said, pasta. Everything's worse now. Okay, y'all. Let me enjoy this show. Sorry. What you mean don't worry? Okay, y'all. I'm going to watch this show and then, um. Oh, that's beautiful. I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey, y'all. I came because I show y'all what, what we're eating for dinner today. We got fish and chips and a salad. I ain't going to lie. The show is good. But the music in the background is pissing me off. As well as them taking forever to get to the point is pissing me off. Like this episode could be 15 minutes. But it's 40. Good morning guys. It is Wednesday. So today we got another busy day. I will be going to my friend's house. I'm going to go do her hair. I've been doing hair every single day this week in a row. And it's been good. Learned some stuff new. I'm going to be trying to get more into that as well. That's like the main thing that I really want to be doing. So I'm trying to get my clientele built up. The thing for myself, I need to learn that you have to start from somewhere. If it's, Especially if it's your first time doing something. It's not going to always come out perfect every single time. And I need to get out of my head because it's really just me. I need to have tough skin because this is I, this is my passion i love it so those negative thoughts when i be thinking that they'll come it's like i don't even want to do it i don't even want to do it anymore i don't even want to do it anymore but at the end of the day boy if you don't just get up and do better the next time and call it a day and you ask any entrepreneur have they ever messed up before what they gonna tell you nine times out of ten they're gonna tell you they have and if they haven't they lying so i'm gonna show you guys what i do in the morning for my hair <laughs> We always think our hair doesn't grow. It's not that our hair doesn't grow. It's that our hair doesn't retain length. Especially if it's coiled and curly like this. And you just go in and put a comb. And then on top of that, if you put start the comb right here, you just... Like, baby, you combing your hair out. And that's why your head be hurting. But we'll get there. I hope y'all like you. Go to detail and y'all want to see what I be doing to my hair. Y'all see that? I really thought I was really finna cut it shorter. And I'm actually kind of glad I didn't cut it shorter because this is already short enough. Okay, let me go do my hair. Oh, don't forget to shake your bottle up. After you wet your hair, we're gonna go in and like scrunch it and massage it. And Put a little extra wrap it down so you could throw you some earrings on, but I ain't a lot. I'm going to my friend's house. I just wanted to show y'all what I do if it was like, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I need to shake it off. It would be better if like my hair was fresh. Like it's not fresh. It's not fresh at all. It's just gonna go on about two weeks. So yeah. I mean, a lot of compliments on my colors, and it's actually like motivating me to grow my hair out because I mean, a lot of compliments on the cover so now let's pack i need to bring like a couple things she has like she only had the color the bowl okay so i need to bring bleach gloves a comb and some clips so let's go find those items I got gloves, I got bleach, I got clips, I got a comb. Let's go! I'm over here thinking I got everything. Like, I don't need to take these. And I don't need to take these. And I don't have my keys and stuff. Okay. I 
I will see y'all when I get back and I'll show y'all what it looks like and everything when we're done. Hey, love bug. I'm gonna keep that name. I actually like that name. Okay, so we are done. I'm back in the house. I'm finna put my bonnet on. I'm gonna read my Bible a little bit. So I'm, I'm doing some, a little bit of Bible study with you guys. But I guess I can keep y'all updated. So if y'all wanna come along with the journey with me, like you should do it too. And so I don't feel lonely. Hi, my lashes are off now. Long story short, I will be doing weekly videos that is official. So expect the video every week. I'm just gonna do my Bible study and I guess I'm just gonna rip cause I'm watching Melissa and Joey now. I got two more episodes of that other show to finish. And I'm almost done. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of scary. It's not like a a good kind of scary. It's like a okay, get to the point kind of scary. I hate those kind of scary movies. Like the jump scares, I hate those. It don't even be scary. The scariest part about a jump scare is that waiting period. And like you don't know what you finna what's finna pop up in your face, but then once it pop up, you like that's what I waited ten minutes to see. Oh y'all! So I told y'all I had got the um the oat milk, right? So I finally tried oat milk for the first time, and I am not gonna. First of all, I tried oat milk. It was 12 o'clock at night when I tried that oat milk. Oh, let me tell y'all what we did with her hair. So we kind of did like a. This is it wet though, but we did like a. She wanted um pink going into green, and so that's what we did. And of course, like when she lets it dry and everything, the color will pop out brighter. Oh, I'm finna watch Catfish. I've been watching Catfish. And I really only been watching it like at nighttime. And Catfish is really so good, but I ain't gonna lie. They, they kind of be scaring me sometimes. Cause the people that be getting on Catfish, you be like, huh? I ain't gonna lie, I'm sleepy. So I'm about to read a little bit. Y'all wanna come with me? I'll let y'all come with me. I am in 2 Samuel chapter 19 right now. If y'all want a little update on what I've been reading in second samuel and first samuel has literally been talking about king samuel no not king samuel it's been talking about saul talked about samuel but samuel <laughs> in the beginning so i was like what also y'all should really if you a small youtuber y'all should drop y'all youtube channel especially if you do the same content that i do and then put me on to what youtubers do y'all watch preferably like i said if they do the same kind of content as me especially if they like a, a believer y'all should drop y'all y'all youtube channel and y'all the youtubers that y'all be watching that be inspiring y'all to want to go make y'all a little youtube channel anyways back to second samuel saul is samuel's saul and samuel are not related but saul became king after samuel that's what happened boy saul is <laughs> saul is crazy Saul basically disobeyed God. God had appointed David as king and Saul became jealous of David because God was I'm not giving it to you anymore. So David ended up becoming king. Saul was mad at David. So Saul tried to kill David about three, four, five, six, seven, ten times now. I think it was three times that we mentioned in the Bible. David dodged him every single time. David had the help of Saul's daughter. And then Jonathan. Jonathan is a real one. I was sad with Jonathan because Jonathan was a real one. Jonathan was like David's right hand man. Then Saul ended up and then there's a lot going on because everybody was after David's head. David ran away. He got away. The whole people that turned against him. Now I'm at the part where I think it was Absalom had He was the one who was trying to kill David. The people of Israel like, oh, we need a king because they were going after Absalom. Remember because he got all the people to be on their side. So, they David. so David ran. He was like, I'm going to my place of safety. Don't follow me. Then the people like, David, come back. David, come back. We need a king. Y'all need Jesus. Okay. First of all, do not use me as a reference. Don't use me as a resource. That's why you have to pray and have the Holy Spirit. That's why I like this because it's like a storytelling. You can actually follow along. You just have to read between the lines like, why did you just do that? But it's interesting. Oh my God. So Absalom's brother had, you know, he, he the R word, I'm not going to say that, to his sister. David was not a good father. David had, I don't know how many kids that he had, but Absalom was David's third son. He had a daughter and he had another son and he had probably had more kids. The daughter was just sitting in the room and the brother, mind you, it wasn't, they had, they didn't have the same mom. They just had the same dad. I forgot who their mom was. The brother was like, oh, I love my sister. Bring her here and tell her to make me some bread. Let me watch her eat with his pee earned it a word yeah he was like bring her in let me uh have her make me some dinner and you know he did what he had no business doing then the word got around because he was like the, the sister was like don't do this don't bring shame on me and he did it and then he got disgusted by her he got this he had the nerve to become disgusted by her be for real anyways so then everybody found out and then absalom he found out and he brother and i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna say he what he did was right 
but I ain't gonna say what he did was wrong either. <laughs> Y'all, okay, that's not the point. Then he fled because he was like, oh, my dad is gonna send people to kill me. And then he tried to overtake David, so he basically tried to overtake his father, and then he ended up So it was, it was, it was it's all over the place. It's all over the place. Anyways, yeah. So that's what happened, y'all. You just gotta go read it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. But I'm not gonna lie, if you like a beginner beginner, if you don't really like to read, but you wanna read the Bible, NIRV is where you should start. NIRV or NIV. And then kind of go from there. But yeah, okay. <laughs> Hi guys, I gotta show y'all what's for dinner. That's for dinner. Good morning guys. It's a lazy day. I ain't gonna lie. I, well, I'm not gonna say it's a lazy day, but I'm gonna try to do no social media today. I'm gonna try to edit. Oh, and I made some cookies. Those cookies had chunks of butter left in them. They actually came out really, really good. But next time I do them, I'm gonna make them right. Yeah, like, I'm gonna mix it and do it right. I thought they was gonna be nasty, you know, because the butter was in it and stuff. And like, some of them, it was like the small ones though. Had like the honey. It had melted out of them. Hey guys. Hey guys. Today I'm gonna try to create my mom's nails. I do do press on nails and so i'm gonna start trying to bring that back i love doing press on nails hair makeup all those things i'm trying to get it to where i can do literally those three things for a living like that's legit the goal i'm going to transfer these videos over to my laptop and i'm going to show you guys how i transfer the videos over to my laptop and then i'm also going to be kind of organizing all my like lashes and getting those ready so that when i do get ready to start selling those or bringing the business bag or depending on how i want to do that that'll be set in stone so those are going to be the major three things for the day that I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to do so we are gonna have a pretty busy day today here are the things that I need my laptop of course this SD card I need this little piece cuz y'all know MacBook we got the freaking MacBook so you got to get the freaking MacBook piece and then you have the USB that came with the camera so we just gonna put those all back together how they supposed to go I got iMovie open and then I plug this into my laptop. Okay, you guys, so this is what pops up. And as you see, we have like, this is actually supposed to be a TikTok video. I did his hair and we did a whole process. So I guess I should edit that real quick. So I'm just going to add all of these into my iMovie. I'm gonna import select it. And then you just literally wait for all of the videos to load. I do the edit as I go method and the edit as you go method is basically where you legit edit as you go. So then I'm just going to command all of these. So you could like do the shift thing as well but it will not it won't place them in the right order that they need to be. So you see how this is literally just a minute long like i you just literally edit as you go so i'll let you guys just watch me edit this for a little bit
show y'all my cookies that I made and then I'm going to organize this stuff right here. These are the cookies that we made. So I did burn them. I ain't gonna lie to you. I burnt them. But y'all, they are so good. And it was some oatmeal. They are so freaking good. Let me get one for example so I can show you how I burnt these. They are so, so good. Mm. So I burnt the bottle. Oh my god, that's dark. That is burnt. That is burnt. Weird. I was really experimenting. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Because I was trying to make the lavender something cookies, but I didn't have any lavender. So I was like, oh, we got all the other ingredients. So let me just experiment with these until I can get me some lavender. First of all, I didn't mix it well. There was like chunks of butter and like about three, four, five cookies. So I was like, oh my goodness. I guess I didn't let the butter get soft enough. Then I put them in there and I was like, why are they still soft? So apparently you're supposed to lay cookies. They harden when you let them cool down. I did this at nighttime and I was rushing. I was like, oh, well, we're gonna see what happens. I don't see if they'll taste good. Y'all, they are actually good. Even in the midst of the fact that I messed up, they are still so good. Next time when I do it for real, for real I'm gonna do it the right way because these, if these are good and I, they're like burnt at the bottom, they literally melt in your mouth. organize this stuff for real. I'll figure out how I'm gonna organize it, but y'all can buy y'all lashes off of me. Oh my God, I gotta get this together. I still don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get it together because I got all these lashes. I try to figure out how to make it like all aesthetically pleasing and everything. I guess I thought I was gonna get something done. Got me another burnt cookie. This one, this one burnt burnt. When I make them again, I might bring y'all with me. I probably won't. I know y'all think I'm crazy for you. I ain't gonna lie, the burnt part is disgusting. It's still good. I want a hard cookies, by the way. I just want you guys to know that I did remake these cookies for the second time. And they did come out so much better. Um, they are gone, though. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and work on my mom's nails. I'm going to go water my plant after I get these stuck on here. So we're not doing anything fancy with this nail set, you guys. She just wants these two, and we'll do like a mixture of it. I'll just let you guys watch me do that. So this is regular nail polish. This is not um, gel polish, so it will dry how it normally dries. I normally work with gel polish. I love gel polish, but I just told my mom to give me whatever nail polish she had, and this is what she gave me, and this is what we're working with. And Sally Henson is a very good brand. I'm gonna do this color on all of her nails except her ring finger. A uh, ring finger is gonna get the gold color.
you know, I have to show you guys what we eating today. You know, we got the cookie, we got the golden chick chicken tenders, the roll, the barbecue sauce, the fries, and the mashed potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly that is okay i've been noticing my scalp's been a little bit dry so what i think i'm gonna start doing i'm going to put the concoction in my hair two times a week i'm about to do this with you guys whenever it starts feeling dry that's when i'm gonna go in because it's feeling a little bit dry right now it's not that that much dry so i'm not gonna put a lot it's mostly just in like my back i guess it's like in parts that i missed because it's actually not that bad but I'm just gonna shake my bottle up and then go in with the stuff. Then we're gonna massage it in and then we're gonna do my edges. So yeah, enjoy. Oh wait, I think that was too much. My hands are so greasy right now. for two i use too much product but i gotta tell you what the plan for today so i can stay up to date finna go do some more hair <laughs> so today i'm gonna go do my cousin's hair and when i'm done with that i will show you guys what that'll look like as well so i will see y'all when i get back from doing my cousin's hair is it, is it as hot as it is out here as it is this <sighs> y'all is it that hot where y'all live like I, i'm a type of person i've always loved the heat i've always it is freaking is it 100 because that's what it feel like because why is it that hot outside what in the world what are y'all doing with this global warming and everything like oh my goodness 110 three digits is wild you can bake some food out there that is an oven so today i'm just gonna probably just chill out i'm gonna just try to like get some bible study in i've been finding peace in that and everything so i'm gonna give me some bible study put my bonnet on and when i put that stuff on my hair earlier i put too much on there so i probably won't even need to put any more on my head until i'm gonna try to think where you put it on your hair for every day for seven days and then you wash it all out it's nine times out of ten my hair gonna be like need some some tlc so i'm gonna put my hair in braids maybe i don't know it just depends on how i'm feeling yeah so i guess i'm just gonna try to watch youtubers i'm trying to find like youtubers to watch that are like actually interesting that like i can relate to but i'm done for today i basically been back with y'all i guess for dinner time my mom's nails done so she wants to for her birthdays basically by the time y'all see this she'll get them i water my plants y'all that sun is trying to kill my plants like a piece of me just wants to bring them inside i in fact did end up bringing them inside the sun literally burnt my plants i put them in some shade and they was doing good but i think when i like move them sometimes when i move them they'll die but it's actually a lot of them out there so it's like it's not a big deal to me i don't need all of y'all i just want to see if y'all was gonna grow and y'all are actually growing so i'm actually excited and i think bell peppers take like five months so that's really the main character if the bell peppers start growing that's gonna be like oh my god we got the same color hair oh yo what hey we twitted now that's twitted <laughs> where's my body sometimes i wonder do i have adhd but then i be like i don't think i have adhd just because my attention span is short because some some things are boring or i don't mean i got adhd that just means you don't keep my attention and, and it is what it is it is what it is you know what i mean you know what i mean oh yeah i need to go to uh santa clara it's 87 over there all right y'all i will get y'all later because i don't even know what i'm gonna get ready to do hi guys so it's saturday and no i haven't done anything i've been resting this is my second piece of pizza today and it is 8 4 30 where i get eight from it's official your girl's a christian youtuber i told you that i wanted to put you guys onto some youtubers in my last video i was thinking about like doing them all over but honestly i'm just gonna try to find those christian youtubers because those are hard to find i don't remember if i showed you guys my cousin my cousin's hair yesterday after we did it 
yeah crisp parts yeah then we started it too it actually went good his hair is doing really really good we've been taking really good hair of his hair his hair has been growing because he been listening you need your hair to grow i got you not your hair to grow but you need to retain length i got you just leave your hair alone i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you my clients kind of inspired me to like also start my hair journey over because like i said i'm a i'm a cosmetologist how i'm gonna work in people's head and experiment in people's head that i don't experiment in my own head that's the beauty of it that's the fun of it express yourself through your hair you know what i mean but today all i did was bible study also found me some more some christian youtubers to watch my bible study is so much fun right now if y'all want to update on where i'm at i am in first kings and we're talking about king solomon the wise king solomon i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna close the video out. i sound like a preacher when solomon was king it was these two women they were prostitutes each of them had a child one the first one had a child and then the next one had a child three days later one of the children passed away because guess what the reason was because the mama was laying on top of the child and, and the baby. And the other one was still alive. And they got into a heated argument and the ones whose baby passed away was like, no, the baby that uh, that's alive, that's my baby. And the other one was like, the baby that uh, that's alive is mine. The baby that has passed away is yours. So they went to King Solomon and King Solomon was like, bring me a sword. They brought King Solomon a sword. So he scared me at first. I ain't gonna lie, he had me in the first half. He was like, cut the baby in half and each of you will have half of the baby. I was like, what? I was like, okay, let me keep reading. Let me see what happened. So the real mother of the baby was like, no, let her keep the baby. Don't not hurt my baby. Let her keep the baby. Dad, it, this is fine. Let her keep the baby. I was like, oh yeah, you the real mama. The fake mama, she was like, fine, cut the baby in half. None of us can have the baby. I was like, oh girl, you bitter? Then King Solomon was like, well, we know who the real mama is. You give the give the real mama the baby. And then that was that. Okay, y'all, I'm done. I'll catch y'all in the next vlog. Don't forget to check out another video. This is...